Just off the coast of South Australia lies a little island that's big on nature. Kangaroo Island is home to sea lions, penguins, koalas and, well, thousands of kangaroos, obviously. But according to experts, hundreds of thousands of years ago, some much bigger creatures roamed the coast of southern Australia, and I'm here to find out more about them. Hey Aaron, how are you going? Hi Emma, good to meet you. What have you got for me today? This is Dr Aaron Caymans. He's a paleontologist, and for almost a decade, he's been investigating around six and a half thousand kilometres of coastline, from Melbourne to Western Australia. But on Kangaroo Island, he found these really interesting footprints. What animals are we looking at? We've got quite a range of different animals here. This is what's um, so special about the site. So you can see the three toes here of a bird footprint. And then we've got little hopping tracks from little kangaroos and potaroos. We've got brush tail possums. And this one here is actually the foot of a Tasmanian devil. Wow. And over here, we've got a thylacine or a Tasmanian tiger print. The scientific name of the Tasmanian tiger is Thylacinus cynocephalus, which basically means pouch dog with a wolf's head because, well, it had a pouch and looked like a dog with a wolf's head. The thylacine went extinct almost 100 years ago. Experts say it died out because of hunting, loss of habitat and disease. But over time, the thylacine's become a bit of an Aussie mystery because there have been thousands of reported sightings out in the wild. But Aaron says none of those have ever been proven, so it's almost impossible for a thylacine to still be alive. Even though we've got tens of thousands of sightings from all across Australia, we don't have one single bit of hard evidence. There's not one clear photo. There hasn't been a single thylacine caught anywhere on the mainland. So signs point to their being extinct right across the country. Another extinct animal Aaron found evidence of on Kangaroo Island was a diprotodontid. It was kind of like a wombat, but giant, around two metres tall. The species existed between 2.3 million and 40,000 years ago. How do you know what it would have eaten and what it looked like? Well, actually, one of the key sites in interpreting or unravelling that mystery is a place called Lake Calabona that's over east of the Flinders. And lots and lots of Diprotodon actually got stuck in the mud there. So not only are their uh, skeletons preserved, but sometimes we've even got gut contents as well. Aaron says these footprints are an exciting find because they can give experts new insights into how these ancient animals lived and what this landscape might have looked like generations ago.